Hello dear friends and welcome back to my channel. It's me Frank Landsman and today it's time for a listening comprehension exercise, a bit of vocabulary as well based on a travel tale. Uh, it's followed by 10 multiple choice questions uh, with two options A or B if you like. Here we go. This happened on a flight from Jakarta to Singapore. There was a very nervous stewardess who kept yelling at both her colleagues and the passengers simply because we were running a few minutes late. You know, the Dutch are obsessed with punctuality, perhaps the only trait we share with our neighbours, the Germans. When she was serving breakfast later on during the flight under sunny, stable weather conditions, she bent over to pour me a cup of coffee but somehow stumbled over a bag lying around so the piping hot coffee spilt all over my jeans. Sorry seems to be the hardest word, as Elton John once sang, so the stewardess did not apologize at all. It gave me an insurance form to fill in if I had suffered any serious burns. Luckily, my jeans were quite thick, and some of the coffee had been spilt on the newspaper I was reading, so I politely declined her offer. A fellow passenger from Hong Kong, sitting beside me, advised me to sue her, but I was happy to receive some ice cream by way of compensation. When we landed in Singapore, there was a stopover of less than an hour before flying on to my hometown of Amsterdam, and a pre-recorded voice announced that passengers were allowed to stay on board if they didn't have any souvenir shopping to do. So I stayed on board to read a fascinating history book by the popular science author Bill Bryson entitled A Short History of Nearly Everything. I happened to be the only one who had made that decision, so a, a by now familiar voice started yelling at me that I had to leave the plane. Oh, I thought you were going to offer me another cup of coffee, I quipped with a sly smile. The heavily made-up face of the stewardess turned a light shade of purple, and she repeated her order, more slowly now, but also sounding more threatening. I replied that according to the instructions announced earlier, I was entitled to stay on board. That's an old recording, the rules have changed since 9-11, she replied. In that case, why don't you re-record or update the message, I asked her. This puzzled her and when I added that I would not lodge an official complaint about the coffee incident if I were allowed to read my book in peace and quiet, she finally gave in. I may not be the most assertive person in the world, but I'm pretty good at negotiating. When I was still a volleyball player, one coach even nicknamed me the diplomat. When I arrived at Amsterdam airport, my father picked me up, and while shaking my hand, he noticed the strong coffee aroma. A 40 cups a day man himself in his heyday, he advised me to drink less Javanese coffee, telling me I smelled like a coffee shop. Okay, uh, choose the correct answer, A or B. Question number one. What was Frank's destination? A. Jakarta and then on to Hong Kong, or B, Singapore and then on to Amsterdam. Question number two. What traits do the Dutch share with their neighbours, the Germans? A, being obsessed with arriving and leaving on time, or B, drinking coffee while shouting? Question number three. Who's the author of the popular history book, A Short History of Nearly Everything? A. Jill Tyson or B. Bill Bryson? Question number four. Why did Frank decide to say, stay on the plane during the brief stopover in, in Singapore? A. To enjoy more coffee kindly offered by the stewardess or B. To read a history book? Question number five. Did Frank break any rules? A. Yes, he could have been arrested by airport police. Or B, no, he merely followed the instructions that had been announced. Question number six. How did the stewardess respond to Frank's offer not to report her if he were allowed to stay on board during the stopover? A, she called her personal bodyguard to have him removed by force. Or B, she finally agreed to let him stay. 
Question number seven. Why was Frank called the diplomat by his former volleyball coach? A, based on his aggressive behavior on and off court, or B, based on his negotiating skills avoiding conflict? Question number eight. What did Frank's father notice about him when he arrived at Amsterdam airport? A, strong coffee smell, or B, a strong Javanese accent? Question number nine. Which pop singer is referenced in the story? A. Olivia Newton-John or B. Elton John? Question number 10. How would you classify this travel tale? A. As politically critical or B. As humorously critical? That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the story and uh, we'll see each other next time. Please subscribe to my channel Frankie Paradiso and uh, if you enjoyed this uh, leave a thumbs up and like. Thanks very much and I'll see you around. Bye bye.